All right. Guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now I've got a very exciting one for you today because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why you should start an e-commerce marketing agency, an EMA, which is the way that I've coined this business model in 2021. Not in three months, not in six months, not in two years. Why you should start right now? And I'm gonna be giving you five very compelling reasons. Now, I've got no bias towards this business model. Um, I've got no interest in you joining this business model. I'm just super passionate about it. It's changed my life. It's changed the life of my team members, my clients. And so you can probably understand why I'm pretty passionate about this business model. And hopefully by the end of the video, you can at least see the insane value that it holds and maybe be compelled to uh, change your life by starting an e-commerce marketing agency. Now real quick, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I run one of the leading e-commerce marketing agencies in the world where we take brands that we truly believe in, e-commerce brands that we truly believe in and we scale them to seven and eight figures. And this is my hub and this is where I work from, this is where my CTO also works from. As so we're actually building a real business here, we're not just creating content for uh, social media, although that is one of my uh, passions. Now, if you're also new to my channel, you might not know what e-commerce marketing agency actually is. And basically what it is, is a service-based business model. Now, maybe you've heard about a SMA, social media marketing agency. This is similar to that, but it's the 2.0 version. It's basically like the older, better looking, more intelligent uh, sibling in the family. So what it is, is you pick a revenue-driven service, a service that makes uh, e-com brands money that is related to growth, Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO, email marketing, conversion rate optimization, and then you offer it to a specific sub niche within e-commerce. So that is a brief intro on what the business model entails. And here are the five reasons why you should start one in 2021. These are gonna be valuable whether you are a seasoned entrepreneur who's looking to pivot and really reap the massive benefits of this incredible business model. Maybe a, a beginner entrepreneur who has dabbled in the SMMA space, maybe who has built a dropshipping brand, but understands that you actually wanna build a business with true longevity that adds value to people, or just anyone who's looking to get started in the entrepreneurship journey uh, and really build their first business. So very excited for this and let's get right into it. Last one is the cost attached to starting an e-commerce marketing agency. Now, it is very, very beginner friendly because the cost is very low. If you've got 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks a month, you can start an e-commerce marketing agency. In fact, I've got a video on this channel where I show you how you can start a marketing agency for I think 12.66 bucks. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff, especially if you're a beginner entrepreneur who hasn't built a business that has generated massive amounts of capital and you don't have thousands and thousands of dollars that you can throw at a business that you want to start. The second thing that I want to talk about regarding the barrier to entry is the fact that when it comes to the expertise required to start an e-commerce marketing agency, you might be thinking, well, I don't know about Facebook ads. I don't know about, you know, e-com growth. Here's the thing, possible all the alternatives, an e-commerce brand, a dropshipping brand, right? Amazon FBA, maybe any type of physical uh, business, right? If you want to be successful with those business models, I'm not saying it's for smarter people and the people who are doing e-commerce marketing agency are not as smart. No, absolutely not. In fact, it's the complete opposite because with these other business models, you have so many moving plates. You have to become an expert at product development branding, marketing, logistics, packaging, right? management, um, you know, customer service, and the list goes on and on and on, right? So I'm not saying all these things are incredibly hard to become an expert at, right? But you have to go on a much longer learning curve to get to a point with your business where you're successful. Whereas with e-commerce marketing agency, you only have to master one single thing, which is the marketing component. And within that one single thing, within marketing, you have to even go more narrow and pick one single service, Facebook ads email marketing, right? Once you master that service, you can start uh, doing it for e-com brands. You can build a business around that, monetize, and build a widely profitable business. For example, my agency makes me 70K per month profit, right? And the complexity of that business model is much more reduced. But what's even better and what's even crazier is the fact that when it comes to the service delivery, right? You can actually outsource that to someone who's a Facebook ads expert. So you might be thinking, well, cool. I love for Facebook ads, I'll do email marketing, but how long is it, is it gonna take me to learn that one single service? I understand that maybe I don't have to become an expert at all these other things that other financial vehicles would require me to uh, become an expert at, but I at least have to become an expert at one single thing. The great thing about e-commerce marketing agency is that you can actually outsource that. So you can outsource the service delivery so you can focus on the revenue generating activities, outreach, sales, building systems that can be scaled, right? Hiring great talent. Et cetera, et cetera. So you're actually acting like a CEO founder and you can get started right away because you don't have to become an expert at Facebook ads or in marketing, whatever service you're offering, which will take you months, even years. And the final thing regarding the barrier to entry conversation is the fact that you can do it from anywhere in the world, whether you are in Spain, Madrid, like I am, right? Or in the US, in the UK, in India, as long as you have an internet connection and a laptop, you can get started right now. You don't have to have physical products, right? You don't have to meet the brands that you work with, your clients face-to-face, -face, 
you can get started from anywhere in the world right now. So that is the first reason and now to the second one. The second reason and this one is really, really important is the fact that we're actually adding real tangible value to businesses, right? This is a real business with tangible results. At the end of the day, if you're doing Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, any paid traffic platform or email marketing or SMS marketing or conversion rate optimization, I've spoken about all these services on my channel already, but if you offer one of these services, you're going to make clients money, right? So yes, we can charge them three, four, five K a month, right? I've got clients who pay me 12 K per month, every single month. A lot of them because of performance driven incentives, right? But if that's the case, that's because we're making them a lot more. I'm talking about six figures every single month in many cases. So let me ask you this. If you're making clients money, a lot of money every single month, number one, are they going to keep you around for a long time? The answer is probably yes. Number two, are they willing to pay you 10%, 5%, 50% of what you make them profit? 100%, right? And number three, are they going to be happy? Yes, right? Now, if you compare that to other business models like dropshipping, it's really hard to understand the value of a dropshipper, for example. You're literally just sticking a logo on a product from China, shipping it to a customer. It takes three, four weeks for the product to arrive. The customer service is, in most cases, terrible, right? And there's no real value for the end users because they could have themselves gone to Alibaba and gotten that product for one tenth of the price, one tenth of what you charge them, right? So there's no added value. And one of the things that I know for sure is that if you have a business that actually generates value, right? And that has tangible real results, you have a business that has longevity. If you've got a business that is a quick fat, that is going to make you money at the expense of your end users satisfaction, you don't, you probably don't have a business that has much longevity. It's probably going to make you money for a few months, but it's going to fizzle up, right? And, and you're constantly having to, I think about the next thing and the next thing. It doesn't really give you that peace of mind and you're not really building something of substance, right? We want a business that not only generates money now, but that can take care of us, our family, our team for the next 10, 20, 25 years, right? So that is one of the great things about e-commerce marketing agency. The other thing to keep in mind on the topic of, you know, you making your clients money, this services that we're offering for them, they see them as vital, right? For e-com brands, it's literally oxygen to have more traffic to their site, to have more eyeballs on their products, to retarget these people, to get in front of people that have already purchased from them through email marketing, right? So we're literally selling them oxygen. We're literally selling them food, right? Really tasty food um, so they can continue to grow. So they see it as this vital thing and it's not a very uh, hard thing to sell, right? Because as long as you can make them more money, it's a pretty easy sale. And the final point on the topic of building a real business with tangible results is the fact that, look, at the end of the day, right? Yes, you want to make money, but you also want to go through an inner transformation and become a person of value. One of the great things about e-commerce marketing agencies is that you build transferable skills, right? So you build communication skills to work on your, you know, you work on team management, right? You work on your sales, so you get really good with sales. You get really good with marketing, with branding, right? With sales funnels. And so you become this very well-rounded person. Even though you're focused on one single component of business growth, you become a very well-rounded person and it gives you a lot of transferable skills, right? Whereas with other business models, you're literally sitting in front of a laptop. You don't talk to anyone, right? Maybe you're doing a bunch of trades every single day, uh, maybe making a bit of money, but where is the personal transformation in there, right? And if you take that one thing from you, right? Can you go ahead and start something else? And that is the importance of transferable skills. If you know the skill of sales or marketing or branding, it, you can pretty much do anything in the world, right? You can start any business later down the line and you'll be successful with it because you've gone through this personal transformation as an entrepreneur. So that's the second point. And before we get into the third point, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it. You made that gray looking, ugly looking unlike button turn blue. The YouTube algorithm just finds it extremely sexy when you do that. I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The third reason why you should probably start an e-commerce marketing agency in 2021 is the fact that it has huge scale. Now, one of the great things about e-commerce marketing agencies is that our value is very clear. We talked about that in the previous point. Now, the reason why that's pretty cool for you as well is because it lends itself to performance driven incentives. And what I mean by that is you can actually charge percentages of ad profit of the revenue you're generating for these businesses. And the reason why we can do that is because it's also very easy to track on our end with Facebook ads, email marketing. You can clearly tell them, hey, I put in $1 and I made you five back in profit. Can I take $2 out of the $5? Yes, you can, right? It probably makes sense, right? So my point with this is you can actually charge percentages of the money you make your clients. And the even better thing about that is that it lends itself to passive income. Now, passive income is this, you know, oftentimes just completely delusional idea, right? But 
it truly works when it comes to the e-commerce marketing agency business model, right? Yes, your team is actively growing these accounts and yes, you are actively getting your hands dirty, but the way it provides passive income is that as you start scaling brands, it actually often becomes less laborious, right? You often have to put in less work, but the great thing about that is that as you scale, as you grow these brands, they start making more money so they can invest more into their marketing. You start managing higher ad spends and since you can invest more, you make them more money. And so as the brand grows, if you have a percentage of their profits or how much money you make them, then the money you make from those accounts is actually gonna grow month on month, completely passively without increasing complexity or increasing the amount of work you put in. And the final point that I would say on the topic of huge scale is one of the great things about e-commerce marketing agencies is that the money you make with it, right, is pretty much pure profit. Sure, you gotta pay your, you know, your contractors, the ones that deliver the service for the client, but we're looking at around 65, 70, 75, even 90% profit margins. That is pretty insane. If you can tell me another business model where you can get those type of profit margins, that is an actual real business model where you're adding real value to people, I would love to hear it. So that is the third reason why you should probably start an e-commerce marketing agency in 2021. The fourth reason why you should probably start an e-commerce marketing agency is that it lends itself to a pretty cool lifestyle. And the reason why I say that is because number one, we are not paid by the hours that we put in. We're not paid by our time were paid uh, by results, right? And so every time you trade your time for money, that is a losing equation because you have to put more hours to make more money, right? But when we are getting paid for results, it doesn't matter if we spend 10 minutes on an ad copy and an ad or 10 hours, as long as it gets them a specific result, as long as we make them money, then we are gonna get paid for that. The second reason why it lends itself to a good lifestyle is the fact that you have a team that helps you out. That is not a weakness, that is absolutely blissful because you have not only financial freedom, but time location freedom, which leads me to the third point, why it lends itself to a really cool lifestyle, the fact that you can actually travel or the fact that you can move anywhere in the world and you're not tied to one specific place because it takes place all online. So that is the fourth reason and the fifth and final reason is all about the future. When you get started on this business model, you're not just building an e-commerce marketing agency, you are building yourself up. More specifically, you're building incredibly valuable, high income skills that are going to serve you so incredibly well when everyone is selling something online in the next two, three, five, ten 10 years, right? The skill of being able to market something online, to be able to sell something online is gonna be one of the most, if not the most desired skill in five years. It already is an incredibly desired skill, but in five, 10 years, when everyone must absolutely sell something online, whether it's education, a product, a physical product, or even a service, you are gonna be the go-to person. Not only that, but you're also building an incredible asset, which is a team, right? Because it's not just you, it's a team. At first, it's just like one, it's just one contractor, but even then, you're still building an incredible asset, a team that can grow anything online. Right? So you, it's not just you on your own, although you as a, maybe as an individual consultant would be incredibly valuable, but it's this incredible asset that can grow anything online. Maybe the brands that you wanna come out with uh, later down the line, maybe you wanna build an e-commerce brand, well, you've got this e-commerce marketing agency that can grow anything online and that can help you and your brands uh, later down the line. You're also building a track record of someone who can grow things online, right? So the, the social proof and the track record that you're building over the years, right? Will be incredibly valuable when everyone is looking for people that can grow things online in five, 10 years. There's already an incredibly high demand for it, but when everyone is looking for a person that can grow things online in five, 10 years, and you've got a track record that you've built over the past five years, you're gonna be the go-to person. And the final thing you're building is capital, right? So you're building up your capital so that if you wanna start other businesses, a lot of my students, for example, yes, they're really passionate about the e-commerce marketing agency, they see the insane value uh, in it, right? But they're just getting started in their entrepreneurial journey and they don't wanna be tied down to, a, uh, to one business model for the rest of their existence and that is completely fine. With this model, you're building up capital so you can start other businesses that require more uh, startup capital and later down the line. If in five, 10 years you wanna start your own brand, right? You can actually invest large sums of money because now you have the money that you built thanks to your agency. So that is that for this pretty intense uh, video. If you've enjoyed it and you found value out of it, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up, helps a lot with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on the video, and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, e-commerce, marketing agency, and a ton of other really cool topics. So go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is if you haven't checked out my free masterclass where I go more in depth on how to sign and keep four figure clients for your agency, go ahead and click the link in the description and uh, check that out before it's gone. So I hope everything is going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.